Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of Madi App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a breathing exercise app using the timer component in MIT App Inventor. So in this app, we are going to implement the 478 breathing exercise. So this is a type of breathing exercise which has lots of benefits. So the first step is to, you need to inhale for 4 seconds because you can see 478, 4 is the first number. And then you need to, after you inhale for 4 seconds, you need to hold your breath for 7 seconds. And then you need to breathe out through your mouth for 8 seconds. So this is the 478 breathing exercise which we are going to implement in this app. So here you can see the app. So first you need to inhale for 4 seconds. Then you need to hold your breath for 7 seconds. Now you can see that the seconds countdown timer is also running. And it automatically goes to the next one. Now it is breathe out through your mouth. And it is for 8 seconds. 7 and 8. Now again we need to inhale. So if we repeat this, it has many benefits for our body. Now if you are new to my channel, I create tutorials on MIT App Inventor so that you can create fantastic mobile apps like we are going to do in this tutorial. So start now by clicking the red subscribe button so that you can create fantastic Android mobile app. So first we are going to upload a background image to this app. So I'm going to put a gradient to be as the background image. Now you can see that the background image is uploaded. Next we are going to put the title for this app. So let's bring in a label and we are going to put this to be at center of screen 1. So change align horizontal to be center. Now you can see that it came to center of the screen. Now let's change the text of this label to be 478 breathing exercise. Now we are going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this label to be 20. Now you can see that the label is not visible because the color is back black. And now let's change the text color to be white so that it will be visible clearly. Next we are going to put a gap between this. So let's bring in another label and we are going to erase all the text. We are going to put the width of this label to be 2%. Now you can see that there is a gap between the top of this mobile and then the label. Next we are going to bring in a vertical arrangement from the layouts. And let's change the height and width to be fill parent. Now you can see that it occupies the whole screen. So inside this we are going to bring in a label. And we are going to put this to be at the center. So click on vertical arrangement 1 and change align horizontal and align vertical to be center. Now you can see that the label came to the center of the screen. So we are going to change the font size to be 23 and let's make the font to be bold. We are going to change the text color or the font color to be white so that it will be visible clearly. Next we are going to bring in a slider. So we are going to use this slider as a progress bar to show how much time it is finished. And in this label we are going to show whether they need to inhale or they need to breathe out or they need to hold their breath. So let's we are going to edit the properties of this slider. So let's put the width of this to be 60% and then the minimum value should be 0. And we are also going to disable this thumb because it's a progress bar. Next we are also going to bring in an, another label and in this label the text is going to be 0. The font, the font size should be 60. And let's change the text color to be white. So this is the timer label in which it will show how much seconds is over. Next we need to bring in the clock component because we, need, we are going to use the timer. So let's go to the sensors and here you would be able to, you can see the clock component. We are going to bring in three of them. And for all of these three we are going to disable the timer. So you need to uncheck this box for every timer. We are going to change the thumb position of this slider one to be zero. Now let's go to the block section. So first we are going to create a variable called seconds. And we are going to set this to be 0. Next we are going to create a procedure called start breathing exercise. And then when screen 1 is initializing which means the app is loading or starting. We are going to call this procedure because we need this. We need to start the breathing exercise and we need to show it to the user. So let's go to procedures and let's bring in this block. Inside this procedure, we are going to change the text of label 3. So label 3 is this label. We are going to show that they need to inhale first. So let's bring in 
this block set label 3 dot text to and then the text for label 3 is going to be inhale and then after it shows it 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 need it needs to show the same text for 4 seconds because it's the 4 7 8 breathing exercise so for that we are going to use timer or the clock clock component so first we are going to enable this clock component so let's bring in this block set clock one dot timer enable to and here we are going to put true because we need to enable the timer so when clock one timer is enabled first we are going to set the max value of this slider to be four because it needs to the user needs to breathe for which means they need to inhale for four seconds so let's go to slider one and here you can see set slider one dot max value so this max value is going to be four next we need to increment the seconds variable by one so for every second this variable will get increased by one so let's bring in the addition operator here and here we are going to get the global seconds and we will add one to it so let's go to math blocks and let's bring in one now after it increments the global seconds it needs to update it in this label so which is label 4 so for that let's bring in this block let's go to label 4 and here you can see set label 4 dot text to the text is going to be the global seconds and also we are going to up, up, update it in this slider we need to show how much seconds over in this slider so we are going to set the thumb position for that so let's go to slider 1 and we are going to bring in this block set slider 1 dot thumb position 2 and then the thumb position is going to be global seconds now after we do this after the four seconds is over it needs to show the next command which is hold your breath so for that we need to go to we are going to bring in an if condition and here let's bring in the equal to from the math blocks and here we are going to get the global seconds and if the global seconds is equal to four so let's let me duplicate this block and let me put it here so if it is equal to four then it needs to show hold your breath in in label three so let's duplicate this and here i'm going to put hold your breath now you can see that i have i have told it to hold the breath it, it needs to show it in label three now after it shows we need to enable the second timer or the clock two so let's bring in this block set clock two dot enable two and here we are going to put the true block so here you can see the true block and then after we enable clock 2 we are going to disable the clock 1 so here you can see clock 1 dot timer enable 2 let's put false here now after we enable the second clock or the timer let's duplicate this and it needs to show this message which is hold your breath for 7 seconds so first it shows inhale for 4 seconds and then it needs to show hold your breath for 7 seconds so let's go to the block section and here you can see when clock two dot timer we are going to set the max value of this slider to be seven seconds or seven and then we will increment this by one and then we will show it all these blocks are same now if the global seconds is equal to seven we need to move on to the next command so then so the next command is breathe out through your mouth now you can see that i have put the message and then now what we are going to do is we are going to disable this clock two so let's put false here and then we are going to enable the third clock or the third timer so i'm going to put true here so again we are going to duplicate this and this time let's change this to be clock three dot timer and then the max value is going to be eight because it's the four seven eight breathing exercise so first it should be four seconds seven seconds and now eight seconds so it will show this command breathe out through your mouth for eight seconds so after we set the max value to be 8, in this if condition, let's put 8 again here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to disable this too. Let's put false. And after we disable all the timer, again we need to repeat the whole process. So we need to start from this procedure. So let's duplicate this block. And we are going to call the start breathing exercise procedure here there is one more important block which needs which you need to add for all of these timers so that is we need to reset this seconds when the global seconds is over 
so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to variables and let's bring in the set block and if it is 4 we are going to reset this global seconds to be 0 so let me duplicate this and let me put 0 here so we are going to do the same thing here also in the clock 2 dot timer and in the clock 3 dot timer so here you can see the app it shows inhale now after 4 seconds it shows hold your breath because it's the 4 7 8 breathing exercise now it is 7 seconds and it shows breathe out through your mouth for 8 seconds. Now you can see that it is 5, 6, 7 and 8. And you can also see that it shows how much seconds you need to do. Now it is 3 and 4. Now you can see that it is repeating the whole process. Next, do you want to create a pedometer app or a step counter app using a MIT App Inventor? Watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor here.